Hi guys, welcome to Mix Studies. Today we are going to learn a most commonly used parameter in psychometry that is weight bulb temperature. What is weight bulb temperature? How to measure it? How we can define it in psychometry? We will talk about all the basic details. We will take a basic thermometer. Look at this thermometer. So this is the bulb of a thermometer and different temperatures are marked on the body of this thermometer. So this is the bulb and it has mercury and we all know that mercury will expand even it takes a small amount of heat. So this is the mercury in the bulb. If we keep this bulb or the mercury in normal atmospheric air it will take the heat from the air and mercury will expand look at this picture so this is a commonly used thermometer and here bulb is taking heat and mercury is expanding this bulb is kept atmosphere at dry conditions so this bulb is called dry bulb and the temperature we measure with the help of this dry bulb is called dry bulb temperature. Now if you put some moisture in the bulb of this thermometer, do you think this bulb is dry? No, the bulb is wet. And when we measure the temperature considering the weight bulb, then this concept of weight bulb temperature comes. Now look at this thermometer. Its bulb is dry and it gives a reading of 40 degrees centigrade. Take a cloth and we will put some moisture or the water so the cloth will be wet. Now we will put this thermometer bulb into the wet cloth. And we will see the temperature reading is less than 40 degrees centigrade. Of our reference, the temperature reading is 35.5 degrees centigrade. Now this temperature considering the weight bulb is called weight bulb temperature. Let us try to understand. At normal condition, dry air passes through this bulb and bulb takes the heat from the air. Say it is Q1 amount of heat and mercury expand due to this heat and it gives a reading as 41 degrees centigrade. Now if we put a wet cloth on the bulb, water will start to evaporate and for the evaporation, latent heat of vaporization takes from the bulb or the mercury. Say the heat loss is around Q. As there is a heat loss, then definitely this bulb will have a less heat. Say it is Q2. So naturally Q2 less than Q1 due to the loss of Q. And this less heat will reduce the temperature reading in the thermometer. And say it is 38 degrees centigrade. So this temperature is weight bulb temperature and it is less than dry bulb temperature. Let's see a basic consideration for weight bulb temperature. It is evaporation process in the bulb so this temperature is constant. We have to consider the pressure as well because pressure is proportional to temperature. If pressure is reduced then temperature will reduce and pressure increase then temperature will also increase. So whenever we will talk about weight bulb temperature we will talk the process is at a constant pressure. So at this pressure this is the lowest temperature possible due to this evaporation. So we can define weight bulb temperature. It is the lowest temperature to which air can be cooled by the evaporation of water into the air 
at a constant pressure. And this wet bulb temperature is abbreviated as WBT or WBT. This is a psychometric chart and we will see the wet bulb temperature here. So it's a simple ray diagram and this wet bulb temperature lies in this line. Like dry bulb temperature, it is also measured in degree centigrade or degree Fahrenheit. So this is the wet bulb temperature line. It is in degree centigrade. Now if you see in Fahrenheit scale, see this is the wet bulb temperature. Here is a carrier psychometric chart and this is the wet bulb temperature line. See these are the main line. So here 10 degree centigrade and 15 degree centigrade wet bulb temperature. And any temperature between this 10 and 15 or any other lines we can easily find out. Like here see 11, 12, 13, 14 degree centigrade. Let us do a very simple exercise. We will find 27 degree centigrade and 21 degree centigrade wet bulb temperature. To find out 27 degree centigrade WBT, we have to see the range between 25 and 30 and here is the 27 WBT line. In the same way, when we we'll try to find out 21 degree centigrade WBT, we have to see between 20 to 25. So here is the 21 degree centigrade wet bulb temperature line. Now this is a 20 degree centigrade WBT line. Can you tell me what is the WBT at this point or here or this point? These are 20 degree centigrade only. Make sure that any point in this wet bulb temperature is the same for the entire WBT line. Let us see a basics of moisture versus wet bulb temperature. Basically we will try to find out the impact of moistures and the effect of wet bulb temperature. This is the air, basically it means gas and pollutants and it has moistures. Now percentage of moisture depends on the place. Here is the very less moisture, so percentage is very less. And if you visit any coastal areas, you can have a very high percentage of moisture. So we will differentiate between high moisture and low moisture with respect to wet bulb temperature. High moisture or high relative humidity and low moisture or low relative humidity. We will make a separate video of relative humidity. Now we will put thermometer in both these conditions high moisture and low moisture region let's put wet cloth now in case of low moisture if you see the moisture particles are less with respect to its capability so we can get a lot of free space for evaporation and evaporation rate will be high so evaporation will be more and heat loss from this bulb will be more. So this wet bulb temperature due to this low moisture condition will be less. Here it is 36 degree centigrade. In case of high moisture if you see the air is having a very high percentage of moisture particles. Rate of evaporation will be less. So the latent heat for vaporization will be less. Due to this less heat loss, maximum heat will be available in the bulb and it will expand more. So this temperature will be more. Say it is 41 degree centigrade. So in case of high moisture region, the wet bulb temperature is more with respect to low moisture region. Now it's a very simple question. Is WBT always less than dbt let's explain this is the air and this is the moisture now we are putting this thermometer over here so this bulb is dry and we are getting the dry bulb temperature due to this dry bulb 
say its reading is 41 degree centigrade now we put a wet cloth on this thermometer bulb so here evaporation rate and evaporation happens and it will give a wet bulb temperature it is less than dry bulb temperature 38 degree centigrade if this moisture level increases say it is 100 percent full of moisture in the air do you think this evaporation happens no there will not be any evaporation over that so no heat loss from the bulb so q is equal to zero an entire heat will help to expand this mercury and as there is no heat loss the temperature will be same like dry bulb temperature see here also it is 41 degree centigrade so at 100 percent moisture or 100 percent relative humidity dry bulb temperature equals to wet bulb temperature i hope you enjoy this video thank you so much and please visit makestudies.com